Now, one phrase I heard you use a lot is your own Akashic records. And, you know, it makes it sound like we each have our own set of records, but then we've just been discussing that this is a universal field. So how do you reconcile those two ideas? I'll just use you as an example in a, in a broad way, okay? Mm -hmm. If I talk about my Akashic records, I would talk about, I call them masters and teachers, entities. Um, they, re, they are responding to my imprint, my soul experience. That's yeah. why they my Akashic records. If I talk to them about you or, and then they're talking about your experiences, your soul imprints, your um, development, then I would probably say your Akashic records. Think of it like you have a library. I was going to say that, yeah. Okay, and you have a question. For specific questions, you pick one book or one chapter, but it's still one library. It's still one source of information where it all comes from. And then humans tend to put it into books or into chapters or things like that. But it's still all one. That's why my first book is called One True Love, because uh -huh. it's all one. But the human language itself doesn't allow me to make these subtle um, distinctions if I want to express something in a different way. So I guess that's why I'm using my Akashic records. Okay. But that so you can say that, I'm sorry, I go ahead. Have totally different entities or different source connected then to you. Yeah. So you could say that the Akashic records are like one infinite repository of all knowledge and all information and so on. Um, but that as we each access them, we access that which is pertinent to our lives. And so in that sense, we could say it's my Akashic records. Is that Correct. right? Correct. All right. Yes. Like the library down the, down the, the street here from where I live, it's, it has a lot of books in it. And, you know, I could go and check out any particular book. It's not necessarily my library, but I can get any information I want that is interesting to me. They are laughing. They are. Saying, <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad they have a sense of humor. <laughs> they have a great sense of humor. They're saying uh, they're saying you are both correct. I mean, you and I were both correct. We are understanding <laughs> it correctly, but also we have to understand as our awareness broadens, we will have a different perception of them. So, of whom of the Akashic records? Of of the Akashic records. So yes. we, the more we evolve, the more we understand, the more our understanding of them will change or adjust. It doesn't mean that it is wrong. It just means that in different classrooms, you get taught different things, but they are all correct. They just build up onto each other. Sure, that, that's, that's true of so many things. I mean, if we start studying arithmetic and mathematics and so on, um, as, we, as we learn more and more, it doesn't invalidate the things we already learned. It, those provide a foundation for the next thing. So what they're trying to say is, yes, be happy with this, with this interpretation of who we are, but mm -hmm. don't put it into stone because it will change for you again. You can find more information regarding my Akashic Records seminars on my website. See you soon.